Hi friends. A few days ago, while watching something on YouTube, I heard someone say, I do not recall the name of this person, I'm sorry. I heard someone say what was for me a very profound statement. And he said, success lies on the other side of consistency. I'm going to repeat that again, just in case you've missed it. Success lies on the other side of consistency. I found that so profound. If we are unable to commit to a goal, how will we ever reach it? How will we ever attain our dreams if we do not have the resilience and the perseverance to go on Many of us believe that if we chant, if we pray, if we visit a place of worship, um, if we do the right things in life, we should automatically be rewarded. Our efforts should immediately bear fruit. But you know, at most times, that's not true. Most times, our endeavors have to be consistent with our goals. What is the energy that drives our efforts and our endeavors? For me, it is the energy of faith. Faith in myself, the faith, the belief that I know I shall reach that goal and the faith in the higher powers that are constantly conspiring to make our lives happy. Without faith, without that firmness of belief, our efforts and our endeavors shall remain half-hearted. In order to create a reality that exists as a material reality, we have to first create the energy reality. Very, very, very important to know this, to understand this. In order to create a material reality, whether that reality be a relationship, a job, a home, a business, a career, a dream, We must first create the energy reality. If I wish to become a world famous motivational coach, then I need not only faith and belief in myself, but I need to really desire that. Now, what do I mean by this really desire that? Many, many times our desires, our dreams, our goals are only limited to our intellect. Oh, wouldn't it be lovely if I could be that? Wouldn't it be lovely if I could get that promotion? I'd love to live in a bigger home. I'd love to have this fancy car. Nothing wrong in any of these dreams and goals. Nothing wrong. 
My question is, do you truly desire them? Desires are of two kinds. One is the desire that is influenced by what you see and hear around you. This one is a world-known motivational coach. So I want to be like this one. This one has a Rolls Royce. I also want that Rolls Royce. The other desire is that desire that comes from within. It is not influenced or determined by any factor outside of you. Yes, it may be triggered. The external may be used by the universe as a trigger, as a catalyst to awaken the inner desire. But the energy of that desire comes from within. And that is that true desire, that real desire. That desire is the desire of the spirit. The other is the desire of the ego. Now, let's not get judgmental about either. We all have, all, we all have desires of the spirit and we all have desires of the ego. Nothing wrong with either. Nothing is better or worse. The desires of the ego and the desires of the spirit both need your faith. Both need your belief in yourself and in the higher powers that are constantly helping you. If you don't have faith, you cannot proceed even halfway into that journey. Whether that journey is a spiritual one or a material one makes no difference. The endeavors have to remain the same. To succeed, to attain a desire that arises from spirit and to attain that desire that arises from the ego require your faith and your belief. But the desire that arises from the ego is very often led by and supported by greed and need, both of which translate into an inner scarcity. Now, here's the problem. If there is an inner scarcity that's present, if you desire that car, that promotion, that job, that house, that whatever, because you require validation, approval, attention, whatever it is that you are looking for to fill that inner vacuum, you are creating the first hurdle in your path. In order to remove that hurdle, you require to be consistent in your efforts. When there is the desire that arises from the inner spirit, this aspect of inner scarcity is absent. So that first 
part of the journey is a little different. When it is a desire that arises from the ego, your single-minded focus, your perseverance, your consistency of commitment to remove that inner scarcity is most vital for you. Once that is removed, it's an interesting thing. Once that hurdle is removed, once that inner scarcity has actually been eliminated, the ego-driven desire will either fall away and you will feel, I really don't want that anymore. Or it will fall in line with your spirit-driven desires. At this point, your single-minded focus, your commitment, your consistency of effort and endeavor, your refusal to say, I give up, All of this shall come into play, backed by the faith, backed by the self-belief. And eventually shall come to pass. You shall enjoy that success. One of the most common questions I am asked when I work upon goal attainment processes with my clients, very early on in the process, inevitably they will ask me, L, when will this come true? And my answer is, I don't know. I am facilitating your process by sharing with you the wisdom and knowledge that is available to me. I cannot walk your journey for you. What you do with that wisdom and knowledge, how much and how strong is the faith and belief that is supporting the wisdom and knowledge that you have now received, that shall be guiding, determining the journey, whether it's long or short. But if Somewhere in the middle of that journey, you give up and you say, I've tried for three years and it's not working out. I'm just going to give up. Then, of course, you have not, you cannot attain your goal. To attain a goal you have to be free, free as much as you can of the ego space. You have to teach yourself to open up and connect to your inner spirit, to your inner guidance, to your inner intuition. You have to teach yourself to be open and receptive to guidance and direction that shall come to you, comes to everyone, that shall come to you from higher energies. You 
have to have faith in your ability to attain that. If you feel honestly, truthfully, if you feel that you have a goal which demands a certain skill which you do not possess, then you must take very practical steps to get that skill, to learn that skill. You must have the belief in your inner power that you are bigger than any hurdle that you might face. That you are stronger than any not so happy situation that might come your way. You must have that belief that you are bigger than you believe you are. You must have the faith and the belief in the universe, in the higher powers, to know that the universe that looks after and supplies every need of the smallest sparrow shall look after and supply your every need. You must have resilience because no journey of success is devoid of certain failures. But if those failures are not able to defeat you, you shall find the strength, the courage, the determination to re-energize yourself and to start on that journey again. There is no human being, however successful, who has not undergone suffering of some sort or the other. You must find the reason for that suffering. Why has this situation that is making me suffer come my way on this stage of my journey to success? You must find that answer. The universe does not give you suffering because it's wishing to punish you or hold you back or make you unhappy. The suffering is for a purpose. Find that purpose. Jade Fire continually says this. Nothing happens to you. Everything happens for you. If you believe that that failure happens to you, if you believe that that suffering happens to you, you shall instantly take on the stance and position of a victim. Then the energy that you put out cannot align with victory, cannot align with success because it is the energy of a victim. When you search for, you shall find why that situation has come into your life. 
what is the purpose why has it come for you when you find that purpose you grow from this discovery and as soon as you grow from this discovery you begin the journey again remember each failure each suffering is only a pause in the journey it's asking you to pause reappraise reevaluate reenergize learn grow and move forward all of these elements are part of consistency if you become impatient what might be lying just around the corner for you will forever be out of your reach if you give up you will never know if the success that you desired so much was in fact lying just three steps away if that desire if that goal if that ambition resonates loudly and strongly within you don't be distracted by outward sounds there are always naysayers in everyone's life sometimes the naysayers are those who truly care about you and want only the best for you but maybe their visions are not broad enough to hold your dreams don't make your vision narrow in order to see only what they see sometimes naysayers are those who are envious and jealous of you and wish to hold you back neither blame them nor judge them gently move away from them keeping your eyes only upon your goal the naysayers are mere distractions the failures and suffering come for a very very pertinent purpose which the universe says come on beloved one we know you can uncover that purpose learn from it and grow come on we believe in you the important thing is do you believe in you and if you do believe in you you shall continue towards your goal you will commit to yourself you will commit to the inner spirit that has thrown up this desire this ambition this goal for you do not allow yourself to believe that only spiritual goals are worthy material goals are of equal worth when they do not come from a space of need or greed or rage or bitterness or jealousy 
fill yourself up with all the positive energies you can find. Surround yourself with positive, inspiring, motivational people who refuse to tell you to stop, who in fact tell you, go on, we are here supporting you. And always remember, success lies on the other side of consistency. I pray that you attain all your goals and all your dreams. Big hug.